This tutorial is on common factoring. Common factoring is the simplest form of factoring. And it's where you divide out a common number or variable from all terms in a polynomial. Let's look at the example 4x cubed plus 6x squared. If we take the factors of 4x cubed, it's going to look like 2 times 2 times x times x times x. Okay, so we see 2 times 2 is 4, and x times x times x would give us our x cubed. So 4x cubed can be written as 2 times 2 times x times x times x, and that is its simplest form. If we do the same thing with 6x squared, we're going to have 2 times 3, so that will give us our 6 and now we have x squared, so we can get that by multiplying x times x. So the simplest form of 6x squared is 2 times 3 times x times x. So now we're going to look at the common factors. What factors are common in both of these? So I see we have a 2 that's common. Okay, I have a 3 in this one, but I don't have one up here, so that's not common. And I have a 2 up here, but I don't want to have one down here. Okay, so those aren't common either. I do see that I have two x's in each. And then this x is left over. So the common factors are, we have a two, we have an x, and we have another x. Two times x times x is gonna give us two x squared. So, if I was looking for the common factors in 4x cubed and 6x squared, the answer would be 2x squared, because 2x squared is in both of those. Let's look at just finding the greatest common factor in each of these binomial, and we have some trinomials down here. So we have 3x plus 3 you want to figure out which number or term is common in both 3x and 3. So right away, if I look at 3x, I can see 3x is made up of a 3 times an x. If I look at the 3, I can see, well, that's just made 3, 3 times 1. Okay, so if I'm looking for the common factor, the only thing common in both of those is 3. So the greatest common factor in 3x and 3 is 3. Let's look at the next one, 2x and 4. I want to see what's common in both of those. Well, I know 2x is made up of just 2 times x. And 4 is made up of 2 times 2. So if I look for what's common in both of those, I've got a 2, and then I have an x and a 2, so those aren't common. So the only thing that's common between them is that 2. So that is the greatest common factor. Looking at the next one, I have a 2 times x, and then just a 2. So the greatest common factor is 2. There's definitely not an x in both, so that's not a common factor. Looking at the next one, 3x plus 6. We've got a 3 in this one. I know there's a 3 hidden in that 6 somewhere, so the greatest common factor is 3. This one's a little bit trickier. It's a trinomial, so we have three things here to look at. Let's first look at 36x squared. 36x squared is made up of 2 times 2, that's 4, times 3, we're at 12 now, times 3, 36, times x, times x. If we look at the 12x, well, 12x is made up of 2, times 2, that gives us 4, and 
3 more is going to give us a 12. So 2 times 2 times 3 is 12, and of course then we have an x. The last one, last term is 6, which is made up of 2 times 3. So if I was looking to see what's common in each of these, we got a 2, and we have a 3. We don't have any x's common because this term doesn't have an x, so we can't include an x in there. The greatest common factor then is 2 times 3, which is 6. So the biggest thing that can be taken out of each term is 6. Looking at this one, we have an n here, but we don't have an n there, so I definitely can't take an n out. What's the highest number that goes into both 4 and 10? 4 goes into itself, but it doesn't go into 10. 2 goes into 4, and 2 goes into 10. So the greatest common factor is 2. Looking at this one, what's the highest number that goes into both 5 and 15? Well, 5 goes into 5, and look at that, 5 goes into 15. So I know I can take a 5 out. Look at this one, however. Look at the variables. I've got 1b here, so we can consider that as b to the 1. And I have 2b's, b squared, so I have b times b. So the first term I have b, second term I have b times b. So the highest variable I can take out of there is a b. We're going to get this one. We have 1x, so we can consider that as x to the power of 1. And we have two of them over here. This is x times x. So the highest possible factor I can take out, or the greatest common factor, is x. I can't take out a number here, because all that's here is 1. So the greatest common factor would be 1. We get the next example. If I look at the numbers, I have a 4 and a 12. Well, 4 goes into itself, and 4 goes into 12, so 4 is the greatest common factor. Now, can I take an a out? I have an a here, but there's no a here, so I can't take any a's out of there. The greatest common factor is 4. Let's put this all together. Once you have the greatest common factor, you can divide all terms in the polynomial by this expression and write what is left over. So for an example, 3x squared plus 6x. What is the greatest common factor I can take out of there? Let's look at the numbers first. I have a 3 and I have a 6. 3 goes into 3. Does 3 go into 6? Yes, it does. So I can definitely take a 3 out. Let's look at the x's. I have x squared, so that's x times x. So there's two x's there. And we can consider this x to the power of 1, so we have 1x there. So the greatest common factor I can take out is an x. So 3x is the greatest common factor of 3x squared plus 6x. Now we have to write what's left over. If we take 3x out of each term, we're going to have 3x squared divided by 3x. So if we were to write that, 3x squared divided by 3x. Okay, my 3's are going to cancel out, and I have x times x divided by just x. So one of these is going to cancel out, and I'm left with an x. Plus, 6x divided by 3x. Well, I can see right away my x's are going to cancel out. They're gone. So now I have 6 divided by 3, which we know is 2. Okay, so if I was going to factor 3x squared plus 6x, my answer is going to be 3x, x plus 2. If we look at another example, 3x plus 3, I'm going to take out the greatest common factor first. So what's common in both terms? 3x and 3. What goes into both of those? It's 3. Can I take an x out? Well, this one doesn't have an x, so I can't take an x out. Let's see what's left over. 3x divided by 3. I'm going to be left with an x. 
3 divided by 3 is just 1. So 3x plus 3, if I was going to common factor that, it would be 3x plus 1. Negative 2y plus 4. Remember, I'm going to take the greatest common factor out first. So what is the highest possible number or variable that can go into both of these terms? Well, I can see very clearly that 2 goes into both of those. I can't take out a y because there is no y on this term. So what is left over? Negative 2y divided by 2. So let's write this over here. Negative 2y divided by 2. If I cancel out these 2's, I'm still left with that negative there. So I have negative y. Now I have the term 4. Let's divide that by 2. And we have 2 left over. 2a minus 6. The greatest common factor is 2. Can't take an a out because there's no a value here. So what's left over? When I divide 2a by 2, I'm left with a. Negative 6 divided by positive 2 gives us a negative 3. 5x minus 15, the greatest common factor is 5. What am I left with? Well, 5x divided by 5 is x. Negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. Negative 4a plus 12. What am I going to take out? Well, what number goes into both of those? I know 4 goes into itself, and 4 goes into 12, so I'm going to take a 4 out. I'm going to take a negative out here, so that inside my bracket, I don't have a negative. So negative 4a divided by negative 4 is a. 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. Greatest common factor of 4n and 10, so I need a number that goes into both of those. Now, I know 2 goes into both of those, but does 4? Four? 4 goes into itself, but 4 doesn't go into 10. So it's definitely 2. I'm left with an n, and negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. Oops, I'm left with a 2 in there. 8x squared plus 5x cubed plus x. Okay, I want to find out what is the greatest common factor I can take out of each term. So, there's definitely not a number I can take out of each, but how many x's can I take out? I have two x's here, I have three x's here, and I only have one here. So the greatest common factor is just going to be my x. And now I have to decide what's left over. So I'm going to divide this first term, 8x squared. If I divide it by x, I'm going to be left with 8x. And if I have 5x cubed, I'm going to divide it by x. So I'm just going to take one of those x's away, and I'm left with 2. And I have x divided by x gives us 1. There's my solution. For this last one, I have 8 cubed plus 12a squared minus 4a. If I was looking for a number to take out, the only possible one would be a 1, since there's a 1 in front. So instead, I'm just going to look at the variables again. How many a's can I take out? Well, I have 3 here, I have 2 here, and just 1. So the biggest number I could take out is the 1. If I take an a out of each term, I have 8 cubed divided by a, which leaves us with 2. 12a squared divided by a is going to leave us with 12a. And negative 4a divided by a leaves us with just negative 4. And there you have it.